t-shirts are an important way of getting the word out. Hello, hello, welcome to the vlog. It's a nice sunny day and I'm off into town and I thought you might enjoy the walk with me. So yeah, the point of my little trip into town is to get some t-shirts printed. You know, the sort of, we made music here, buy the t-shirt, or here, have the t-shirt, find the t-shirts. And uh, yeah, as music is increasingly just ones and zeros on the internet, t-shirts are an important way of getting the word out that it exists. Yeah, so my t-shirt thing is sorted, um, as ever, <laughs> chasing deadlines, and we're off to use conference on Friday morning and I wanted to have some t-shirts done by then. Um, long story, you don't need the details, but they'll be done on time and that's good. Um, and now, I need to go and buy some bananas. So while we're talking about musical t-shirts, I should talk about going to Sting on Sunday night in Sarajevo. Um, a great night, good music. Um, there is a t-shirt connection which we'll get to in just a minute. But yeah, as one of the online articles about it I was reading, they kind of were drawing a line between U2 playing in Sarajevo in 97, Jamiroquai in 2005, and then Sting this week. And uh, there aren't many artists of sort of international fame at that level who come through. So it was really great to be part of that night. But I'm not going to stick any of his music in this video because he'll probably get like whatever. But uh, yeah, here's a few pictures. So the concert was part of Sting's My Songs tour, which has been going on for the past couple of years give or take with Corona. They were selling the tour t-shirt, which kind of, given what I've just said, probably I should have bought as a piece of history. But at 70 marks, which is the better part of just over 30 quid, um, in the context of what that money means in this country, that was a piece of history that I just wasn't going to stretch to afford to. I know my t-shirt buying experience isn't the same as everyone else, but like, I don't want to spend 25 marks on a t-shirt in a shop. I'd rather wait till it's in the sale like 10 or 15 so 70 marks is a lot of money um yeah but good luck to those who did buy themselves a piece of history on sunday night we have another bit of history coming up this weekend because we're going to the youth conference organized by the church in sarajevo and there's about 200 people signed up which for them makes it the biggest youth conference they've ever organized and uh yeah it's going to be a good weekend really looking forward to it and uh again Really good to be part of something historic happening in Sarajevo. So this video will have gone live. We'll probably still actually be packing down and loading the van, all the PA equipment at the end of the conference. So we'll have to wait till next week to get a little bit of feedback and some highlights from that. But yeah, as I said, really looking forward to it and hoping that the weather is nice like this. Not that we'll be out in it. Going to this concert on Sunday night a days ago I got the chance to uh, enjoy the autumn views and uh, a week on by the time we travel on Friday it should be really nice. So yeah there's a few places on the drive between here and Sarajevo that do look really particularly special when all the autumn colours are out so looking forward to that. Tomorrow Budo is coming in to the studio in the morning we're going to record drums for four songs for three different projects and so I'm looking forward to that and particularly one song, which is a song that came out of summer camps at the workshop that I did. And uh, yeah, let's give you a little bit of on that. So let's talk a little bit more about the song from Youth Camp. And it was one of four songs that Buddha recorded drums for this morning. I really like it. There's a couple of reasons for it. One is... Uh, it came out of the songwriting workshop that I was doing at Youth Camp. It's always good when you do something with the aim of it would be great if we write a song. You know, I want to teach about songwriting, I want to help people, give them some tools to help them develop in their songwriting skills. But if we can make a song together, that'd be fantastic. It's always good when a plan like that comes together and you get something. What's even better is when you have something come out of it that people actually really value and really enjoy. And I was uh, messaging someone in Croatia who was part of the workshop and they were telling me oh yeah no we're singing that song all the time um, and that's really cool that something's been created that has a life and so this recording is really important to kind of give it even more life and that it's something that people can take and use 
The other thing that for me was a really big deal about it is that the lead kind of line around which um, the whole song got created was Reka Usri Pojara, which means a river in the middle of the wildfire. And uh, that was particularly poignant this summer because there were wildfires on the mountains around the campsite and uh, the first time in my life where I've ever gone to bed where I actually see the glow of wildfire up on the mountaintops near where we were. So yeah, it wasn't a great experience. At the same time, there was a positive takeaway it really makes you think about safety and security and it makes you think about danger in a way that I hadn't had to think about sort of danger from natural disasters really before. And in that, I think then having a song come out of the songwriting thing, which uses that in relationship to God and the security we can have in God, um, just meant a lot to me. Like that, something I really will remember the summer by. Okay. So it's great to have the drums down on that song. And now my challenge is to connect up with some of the other people who are involved in the songwriting workshop um, who were singing and some of the people who played and see if we can get them involved in the recording as well. And really looking forward to that and it all coming together. So it's Thursday morning, back in town. Just bringing you a quick update on the t-shirt situation. So that's my bag full of t-shirts. We'll get home, have a quick look. I think it's all good. So we gave Buka Wessler a bit of a plug on the vlog a couple of weeks ago when we showed you us down in Chaplin playing. Today it's a good opportunity to plug Israel Shavota again um, with this t-shirt because we've just uploaded a new video that is the same songs but just all together in one video. So if you're the sort of person who wants to just put one video on on YouTube or you want to download one video, it's a whole album all together. That's the one for you. There is a link to that video at the end of this one. But that's it for this week's vlog. Thanks very much for watching. Do give us a big thumbs up for a song from camp. Do leave a comment or question if you want to know more. And do remember that together we do adventure. We'll see you next time.